Hi, welcome to our three-part series on uh, how we're going to incubate and hatch our chicken eggs. So when you receive your eggs, whether that be in the mail or from a local breeder or even if they're from your own birds, the most important thing at that point is to make sure they're stored correctly. Now, an egg will have a pointy end and a, a flatter, more round end. Um, so to store the eggs, it's always recommended to keep that pointy end down. Uh, these are still in the poly boxes that they arrived in. However, if you've got egg trays, um, you can use those, that's fine. So if your eggs have arrived in the post um, or they've had to travel at all, you want to make sure that you give them at least 12, maybe 24 hours to rest before you incubate them. Another important thing to do whilst you're storing the eggs prior to incubation is to keep turning them, uh, just like you would during incubating. Um, they just need to be rocked from side to side a few times a day. So all you're looking to do um, with the turning is just to turn them through 90 degrees. Um, so you can do that just using a block of wood and just pop, pop it on an angle like that couple of times a day just turn the tray around or simply put the block in the other side. Now for chicken eggs like these you want the temperature to be 38.5 degrees Celsius in the incubator and you want to make sure that that's a nice constant temperature before you put the eggs in. Now lastly you want to make sure your eggs are labelled correctly. This may be the colour or breed of the bird or if you're incubating several batches at the same time, it's very important that you can date them as well. And it's always best to use a pencil for this. These bantam eggs are just like any other chicken egg and we're looking at 21 days uh, of incubation and that 21 days consists of 18 days being turned and three days, the last two or three days where the egg is not turned and the chick gets into position and hopefully hatches. So depending on what species of bird you're hatching, you'll need to know the exact day of hatch so you can make sure that you're not turning the eggs too close to the hatch date. Chicken eggs are fairly consistent and we find that most hatch on the 21st day. However, do expect some chicks to hatch the day before or day after. So the documented incubation times are 21 days for a chicken egg, 28 days for a duck egg, 28 to 31 days for a goose egg, 24 days for pheasant, or most species of, and normally around 16, 17 days for quail. So if you go by that list, that gives you a good idea of when to incubate and when to expect the hatch. So this is a very small incubator and is designed to take around 12 fully sized uh, chicken eggs, or hopefully um, a few more of the bantam eggs. Uh, it's got a manual thermometer uh, which you can read through the plastic and a couple of trays for water which will get the humidity up. So when it comes to incubators you've got manual incubators where you turn the eggs by hand. You've got semi-automatic incubators where the eggs are in trays um, normally separated by small rods and you simply pull a lever to turn the eggs and then you've got fully automatic incubators and that they will either rock the egg or turn the egg um, automatically for you. So this unit here is a well-known uh, small incubator by Brincy. So you can use this as a manual incubator and rather than turning the eggs, you simply turn the unit or fortunately it comes with an optional cradle where the incubator will sit into the cradle itself and that small motor on the side will turn the incubator each hour during the day. So when you're placing the eggs in the incubator, ideally you want to have them on a slight angle with the pointy end down. So you want to set the eggs in there, making sure that when the incubator turns, that they're not going to rattle around too much. Now we're putting a few more eggs in. I'd like to put in here really, however, these have traveled quite some distance and I'm not expecting all of them to be fertile, which means after week one, 
we'll be able to take out any of the infertile empty eggs um, and we'll still have plenty of space in here for hatching. So please click subscribe to keep up to date with our videos and we'll see you in part two where we'll be looking at candling the eggs to check for fertility and also getting ready for the hatch itself. So we'll see you in the next video.